Hi, I'm Iggy with Lincoln Electric, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to convert a linear weld into a stitch weld using the Cooper app on one of our collaborative robots. Super simple to do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press start here, and we're gonna notice that we've got some clamps in the way so we don't have to trap or uh, capture any air moves, so we're gonna unlock the robot. We'll just move it out of the way. Now we're already in a linear weld, so we're gonna just select our first location. I'm gonna actually feed out my wire just a touch. So I'll just select my first location, press the green button, then go to my last location, and I'm gonna hold the green button down. That will end my linear weld. Then I'm gonna take the robot, put it out, out of the way. So from here, we can go to our weld by numbers. So we can go to our first weld. We can go edit weld. And we can edit the weld, make sure that we're using the correct so we can go to different material thicknesses. We are using 316, so we'll be using weld number four. We can go to press OK. And then we literally have a button right here that says convert to stitch. So we just go convert to stitch. It will ask you how long you want those stitches to be and how the distance between those stitches. So we've got uh, just over one inch or 30 millimeter uh, length of stitch and every two inches or so will be the stitch. So we'll just go ahead and press apply. From there, we just press done. It will write the code itself. You see it weld. All we gotta do is convert, change that welding blocked to welding active and we'll be good. Let's put some safety gear on. As you can see, converting a linear weld to a stitch weld is only a couple of clicks away when using the Cooper app and Lincoln Electric's collaborative robots. For more information, go to lincolnelectric.com.